welcome back so now that we know how to pivot the data into years let us now prepare this beautiful report where we will have one column for account key and three columns for all three years and then we will have the rows which will contain the amount summed up for every single account key so let us start by writing a new query and in that new query let us start by first summarizing the GL so let me first see the GL so that I have everything in front of me I have just selected everything from GL and now to prepare my report that you were just seeing here let me show you again I need to have the account key and then I need to have the amount into the years so let me repeat what I need to have I need to have the account key so let's get that and then we need to have the year so we need to get that from the date column and then we also need to have the amount so let us first press f5 and see what we can get here so this is one of the view that we need to create one of the sub query now this output that we have will be serving as a table for the query that i'm going to write and you know that we can do that by writing a sub query so let us take it to next line and let us start typing what we need to see in our final report so in our final report we need to see the account key one column for that and then we need to have three columns one for 2018 then one for 2019 and then one for 2020 so you can see we have three columns here for years and then account key so you can understand that now the report is coming to the shape that I have just shown you one column for account key and then we have the years from where we need to select all of that we need to select all of this from this sub query and this sub query should be written as table one but we remember that when we get output from this particular uh, query we need to apply the pivot function so that the amount that is calculated here can actually go from here into this particular you know into these particular columns so i would say let us pivot this function now open the brackets and then let us start typing pivot word pivot sum of amount for year so you know actually i should have the year here as year so that you know at this point system knows what I'm talking about for year in brackets and then within this bracket we will be copy pasting these columns from here and now all we also need to close the bracket for that pivot function let us close the bracket and let us name this sub query as well as table 2 and now when I press F5 now you can see we have our data one column for account key all the account keys are here and then you know we can see the amounts here in 2018 19 and 20 you may be thinking that why we have not group applied the group command group by this and group by that the reason is when we are using the pivot function the group by command is automatically you know applied this is embedded in the pivot function itself and finally let us also order this data so I would say order by account key and press F5 again and you have this beautiful table that you had seen at the beginning of the lecture I hope that you are now getting confident with this sub query and pivot part uh, as I told you that this is going to be a very important thing in our financial reporting